I'm Marisa Thompson. I'm the NMSU Extension Urban Horticulture Specialist. And so we're here for Chili Field Day to talk about some of these ornamental chilies that can make a beautiful bedding plant. So maybe around your front yard with your zinnias or with your sunflowers, or uh, even as a, a tabletop plant, think of like where you might put your Christmas cactus or your poinsettia. We could be using these chilies that are grown here at our New Mexico troop. So some amazing things about chilies, you know, you don't have to convince New Mexicans why we love chili peppers, but the nice thing about these is this amazing different color assortment. And so the, the pigments in chili peppers, or in all plants, are, uh, are, are responsible for this different pigmentation and this color. So we know that green, and like in a green leaf, there's chlorophyll. That is a type of pigment, plant pigment. But these purple colors, like in these dark purple um, chilies, these are anthocyanins. And then the reds and, and oranges, yellows, tend to be more of the carotenoids. And so it's the variation of these different chemical compounds in each part of the plant tissue that turns out into the color that we are seeing. So the, the NMSU Chili Pepper Institute has been breeding these chilies in addition to red and green chilies for our consumption for years. The biggest question we get about these ornamental chili peppers is, are they edible? And the answer is yes, technically they are. You can eat these chilies just like you eat any other kind of chili pepper. Of course, there's some risk involved, but because they're bred for this cute size or a beautiful color, they may not have um, the, as the, all the sensations and all the flavors that come with peppers that we really like to eat. But I was thinking just for the fun of it, maybe I'd try to show you. I'm gonna pick one of these purples that has a nice dark purple color this little pepper here, and um, we'll give it a try. So that's very hot. Very, very, oh gosh, okay, yep. Yeah. You can take these and put them, chop them up and put them in your, with your lunch. You could, um, you could also, around Christmas, get olive oil and put the chili peppers in olive oil to preserve them and make a nice hot, hot oil. So this one gave me a hiccup right away. So that's a, I would say that I agree that the flavor isn't really get there. I can see why it's not grown for produc production, but um, it packs some nice heat. And um, yeah, okay, that's good. <laughs>